Hey guys, Sunny here from Dope Designs. Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys just little touch-ups and stuff you could do to your 3D text to make it look a lot better. So as you can see, this is raw out of Cinema 4D. This was a pretty good render in my opinion. You know, it came out good. But yeah, as you can see, it's it's nice and all, but it is a little plain. And we want to add a little bit to it to make it look better. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to add a gradient overlay. Now to do this, you just want to come over to your layer, double-click it, and click it again and your layer style should come up so we want to add gradient overlay and and it's gonna be on black to white by default which is what we want and now you want to go over to your blend mode and you want to change this to either overlay or soft light this is all a trial and error so you guys could experiment and test out whichever one you like better so if I go on overlay it kind of turns the it, it, uh, the bottom part kind of like a bluish type color so I'm not gonna put it on that I'm gonna actually put it on soft light and and if you could see um, if I turn the opacity down it does make a difference so if you think this is too dark or too light or something you know you guys could turn it down but in this case since I did render it out as kind of a light gray color I think it came out pretty nice and as you can see it has a little bit of a fade going now that we added that gradient overlay but Let's just say this text is too light or too dark. What we could do to fix this is basically hold control and hover over our layer style, I mean our layer um, icon right here and if we click it outlines around the text. So now what you want to do is you want to go make a new layer and then simply you want to come over to your paint bucket tool and if you want to make this darker you want to go with a black and if you want to make it lighter you want to go with a white. So I'm going to maybe... I'm going to I'm going to show you guys and I'm going to go with a black to make this darker. So what you want to do is now just simply fill it in and then click out. And, and now with the layer that's all black, you want to go over it and you want to set this on maybe on like soft light and as you can see it did make it darker and you could just play around with the layer style um it with the layer modes right here because you know it does make a difference to like uh, I, I don't recommend putting it on dissolve or anything but like if you were to put it on for example where is it um okay uh, okay well it doesn't work with with the black here but if you were making it lighter I'm, I'm pretty sure you put on like multiply or something like that and it does add a pretty cool effect to it it kind of adds a little glare to it but yeah so like, I'm trying to make it darker and I can still add if I put on overlay you know in my opinion it makes it ugly but if you put it on soft light it does make it darker and if you're going for that type of look um, it does add to it and does make it a whole lot better as you could see but and you could obviously play around with the opacity if you want to make it more or less and yeah I'll just leave that I guess I guess that looks fine but another thing you could do is you guys could add basically texture overlays now to do this I'm not saying add you know like scan lines or anything I'm talking about like real textures so let's go ahead uh, let's grab this texture right here and let me go back to our workspace right here and we're gonna just paste it over but as you can see it doesn't really cover up so it's kinda better if you have a texture that covers up the entire thing so you don't have to stretch it but in this case we're gonna have to stretch it so so I'm just gonna go control T to bring up the transform and I'm gonna just stretch it till it covers the text and yeah that's it's about fine and now what I'm gonna do again is hold down control hover over the icon click so it outlines but what you want to do is you want to make sure you're on your rectangle marquee tool you want to right click and go select inverse so now you, so now you can see there is a there's a dotted line around the outside and around your text so now making sure you're on your texture you want to hit the delete key and it deleted everything except for the shape of your of your text in the texture so now so now just set this from normal to you could play around with again you know overlay or you could go soft light in this case you know overlay does make it a little too dark for me so I'm gonna go with soft light and as you can see it, it, it adds a very nice texture to it and it looks very nice but um, if your texture is colored and you want to keep the texture kind of a grayscale you can hit control U 
and then just simply drag down the saturation to zero and it did make a difference i don't know if you guys i don't know if you guys saw it there it doesn't make a huge difference but it does but but yeah as you can see just these few little steps that we've done have transformed this text to make it look in my opinion a whole lot better so you don't always have to do this but a lot of the times it does look good and it does add a whole lot more so if I was just to apply this on my background now obviously you know it wouldn't be the best but but like considering if I had a lot of like for example grungy type stuff around it or like this was the kind of look I was going for then this would be perfect if I was going for a sleek simple look then it then basically just a normal text would have been fine too so it, it all depends on what you're going for so like I wouldn't recommend just doing this on on every background on every 3d text you're gonna do but like this does uh, as you can see it did make a big change and it's not really much once you get the steps down a couple times you know you guys will be doing this within minutes so yeah hopefully th this helped you guys peace out guys